This video is going to be building on the virus removal videos I got going on. Um, if you haven't seen the first part that has the building of the Ultimate Boot CD. And before we start getting into how to use the Ultimate Boot CD, uh, important thing for you to learn is going to be using the registry editor. Because uh, it's going to be a subset of that when I go into it. So go ahead and check this out before you get to the next part. Um, important thing is to figure out what each one of these sections of the registry editor actually do and the um, first thing we need to figure out is what are each one of these things called um, as far as the little directories that you see on the side uh, these are called keys and each key can contain a set of values so if I go ahead and jump down to uh, something that I know is going to have some in it. Go to Microsoft, and then we go to Run, or sorry, should say uh, Windows current version, and then Run. You'll see in here some values. And editing values are pretty easy. You can just simply double click on them, and wherever it already is, it'll let you go through and edit that setting. You want to simply delete one, you right click on one, you delete it. Same thing with the keys, you can go through delete one of those entirely. Um, you can also go through do exports of them, whatnot. If you are not familiar with the registry editor, um, before you do anything at all, if you're kind of just wanting to figure out um, stuff about it, you want to go to file and then export. Um, start at the computer icon here click on that go to file and export you can export an entire um, copy of your registry uh, which I would recommend doing so you basically have a backup of it in case you change something something jacks up uh, it is possible with the registry editor and this is your <laughs> warning so to say uh, you can go through and completely uh, prevent your system from starting up uh, to a point where you're going to have to wipe or reinstall Windows uh, to get it to run again. Uh, the registry does contain every single thing uh, crucial settings wise uh, for your system to start up and uh, kind of explain some of the settings or folders here, the keys. Um, each key class is root. It's pretty much going to contain everything as far as different file types there's some other stuff contained in here some extra metadata type of stuff but generally everything you see in there is related to some kind of file type uh, and how it generally works is you're going to have something like a uh, .exe file uh, if I bring that up here uh, once I see .exe there it is and you're going to see that it's got a content type uh, application x ms download and then the default data type if you looked on down through here just keep on scrolling there's a lot of stuff in this one <laughs> to say the least um, you'll see the exe file here and then you have all the good information on that you know what it's going to open with programs like that and as you can tell there's uh, for isolated command there's nothing uh, special for it or the default entry so it's just going to run the program that's pretty straightforward collapse into keys um, you know you just hit the little in older versions of Windows would be a plus minus sign here so little arrows expanded uh, you can also use the plus minus key on your keyboard as well uh, then you have H key current user. This basically has nothing but settings related to the current profile you are logged in with. So if you're wanting to change uh, a setting for another user that you're not logged in as, you have to go to another section which is H key users. Um, another way to kind of work around that is just log in as that user. But um, if I go ahead and expand users here, you're going to see it's not too easy to tell who is who because these are all the SIDs um, security identifiers uh, so it's a little hard to tell who's who there uh, so if you're not sure 
what security ID is what, you can just simply log in as a user and edit it that way. Each key local machine is going to contain really any settings. Um, best way I can describe that, uh, based kind of to uh, just general windows. Um, that's probably the best way I can say it. Um, general settings for the program, general settings for um, Windows, things like that. It's not going to be specific to each user on this level. Um, things such as hardware, you're going to see under H key current config. Um, this is sometimes where you're going to find spyware. Some of the really advanced stuff will live under H key current config, and once you start fooling with that, you're asking for trouble. H key local machine is pretty much as in depth as you want to start getting. Um, that one registry key I showed you at the start there um, with that run setting. This applies to every single user on the system. So if I take this LCD monitor out, that doesn't start up for every single user on the system. If it's there, it starts up for everyone. So I'll be getting more into that uh, later. But that's the general gist of the registry editor. And now that I've explained the registry editor, I'm going to tell you how you can get to it. Uh, I don't purposely did that because I don't want you to just jump in, open it up, and start jacking up your stuff. <laughs> so, um, if you're running Windows um, Vista or 7, you can click on your little start jewel. And then what you can do in here is start typing in either regedit and that's one way to bring it up and it will prompt you for it um, if you're running Windows XP you can click on the start button go to run or you can simply hold down the Windows key on your keyboard and press R and you get the run dialog box and you can just type in regedit and there are um, two different versions of regedit there's regedit and regedit 32 um, there's supposed to be a difference in them, but as far as what I can see, they're basically the same thing. Um, one's supposed to allow you to do permissions, and the other one doesn't. Um, but in XP on, I've noticed that I can right-click um, any key and go to permissions and set permissions that way. Uh, that's another thing a piece of spyware will do to you is sometimes change the permissions on your registry keys so you cannot change them. Uh, there's a utility for that uh, where you can basically reset all your registry permissions because once it's changed you can't change it back anyway so um, really the only one who's a advanced system admin will probably have to fool with that so or that you know changing individual permissions. Uh, but that's it. That's the gist of the registry editor it's some of the uh, newer registry editors you're going to see an option to add to favorites uh, I don't remember that being in the Windows XP one but I don't use it myself and then you can do other things show the um, status bar oh that's a good thing to show you the status bar will always show you where you're at in the registry uh, so once you start getting in there really deep uh, let's just jump down here again you can see I'm under run and it tells me under computer, H key local machine, software, yada 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 yada. So if you're ever like where the heck am I in this thing? That's a quick way to figure out where you're at. Uh, so that's it. Um, next video for the um, antivirus series we're going to go through of actually starting up off of the ultimate boot CD and things you can start looking for and running in there.